Hi everyone, it's Stephanie, and I'm super excited to share that we are having a very crafty holiday on the YouTube channel this week. What that means is we're going to be sharing a craft video for five days, and each day we're going to be sharing a different holiday craft that you can recreate and give to loved ones and family members, or you can recreate and give to yourself if you'd like. So we're going to have a different topic each day, and today we're going to focus on gift card packaging. So the kind of key for today's projects is that we're going to do packaging that pretty much doesn't require too much other than cardstock and then some stamps and stuff to decorate. But for the actual gift card holder, we're just going to have some cardstock, a scoring tool, and we're going to just do some folding and create different things that can hold the gift cards. So for the first one, I have a piece of white cardstock. It is three and three quarter inches wide. I believe this is completely the full size of a piece of standard paper, but it's way longer than we need, so you don't need to worry too much about the length. And I've just put it into my scoring tool and I've scored it in two spots. I've scored it first at one and three quarter inches and then I scored it a second time at four and a quarter inches. And now I'm just going to take the paper out of my scoring tool and I'm going to use my bone folder to really press down on those creases and make sure I have a really nice crisp fold. And now I've kind of created a little pocket there. It's kind of hard to tell right now, but you can see there I have a gift card and it's going to fit perfectly into that space under the first fold. Now to create the top area that's going to fold over to close the envelope, I'm going to use these stitch edge dynamics to just create kind of a fun edge on the top flap of this gift card holder. I decided to use the die with the point in the center and I'm just kind of figuring out by looking at the side how long I need this to go down so that I cut it in the right spot so that it completely covers the bottom flap area but doesn't go too long and hangs over the bottom. So once I kind of figured out where I wanted it to cut, I just put it onto the cardstock piece and I used my grid mat to kind of line it up and make sure it was centered. And then I ran it through my die cut machine. Now you just want to make sure that when you do run it through your die cut machine, you fully open all of the folds so that you don't cut through the gift card holder. And then you're left with this great little envelope type shape and we're going to finish it off by actually putting a little groove in it that's going to allow us to close the gift card holder. So I'm using the gift card grooves dynamics and rather than run the entire piece through my die cut machine I just want to use one end of it just to cut a little groove in the bottom area so that that top flap can fold and tuck neatly inside of there. So I figured out where I needed it to be by just closing the envelope and using my pencil to draw a line where the top flap would end up and then I ran it through my die cut machine and cut out this little groove area and you can see now that when I close this and kind of tuck that top area in it completely closes it and turns it into an actual envelope shape. Now before we do any gluing because we are going to add some adhesive to the inside of this to make sure it stays completely closed like an envelope would, I want to do some stamping on the inside. I thought it would be fun for the recipient when they opened the gift card holder to have a fun display of bright stamping on the inside. So I'm using the hand lettered Christmas stamp set and I'm just taking the word joy and I'm going to stamp it repeatedly on the inside of this panel. And I'm just starting off with first Summer Splash ink, then I'm going to use Limelight ink, and then I'm going to use Ripe Raspberry ink. Now these don't tend to be normal colors that people would use at Christmas time, but I am one of those people who really loves non-traditional Christmas colors and I especially love these three colors together at the holidays. I'm not sure what it is, but I just think they look so pretty and I tend to gravitate towards these colors if I am not in the mood to do traditional colors. But you can definitely make this your own if you prefer the red and green and gold type colors then definitely use those colors when doing the stamping. And just go around the panel and stamp the word repeatedly until you have it how you want it. You can put as much stamping as you want and with this fun scripty font it actually looks really nice when you overlap the stamping. So don't worry if the stamped words kind of go over top of each other. I think it just adds to the finished design. So once I have all of the words stamped, I'm just going to go ahead now and pick out some sentiments that I want to use on the front of the gift card holder. So I'm going to use the same joy word that I used on the inside and stamp it in limelight ink. And then I pick two sentiments, one from the Dear Friend stamp set and one from the Merry Everything stamp set. I only wanted to use a part of each of these two sentiments that I chose, so I actually cut them apart and I'm just using the pieces of the sentiment that I want to use on this card design. And I am first stamped the word sending with black ink right up on the side of the word joy and now I'm going to overlap this Christmas over the Y on the word joy to have a full sentiment that says sending joy this Christmas. 
So now that we've completed this stamping, we can go ahead and actually put the adhesive on the inside of this envelope and adhere it together. So I just put a thin strip of Be Creative tape on each side of the bottom flap of this little gift card envelope that we created. And I closed it together and that is going to completely seal it shut. And now you can see that I can fit my gift card perfectly inside and the top flap has the great stamping on the inside. It tucks nicely into the little groove that we created and it has a great sentiment on the outside. So now we're going to move on to the second idea for giving gift cards and this one uses the Blueprints 28 Dynamics. This is a great dynamics die set for gift cards because it has this great stitch rectangle with a flap opening in the center and a gift card fits perfectly underneath of that. So the first thing we're going to do is add ink to this whole entire panel and I'm doing that with Peacock Feathers Distress Ink and then once I'm done the inking I'm going to add some spritzes of water and dab it off with my paper towel which if you know me you know I love to do that just to kind of add a distressed look to the inking. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'm going to assemble the little scene on the flap on the card front. So I cut the same die out of two pieces of white cardstock so I could cut the bottom area of the flap out and use that for snow for Santa to stand in. So I cut two of those out of the flap area and then I used the Stitch No Drifts Dynamics to cut a snowy top stitch border to each of those pieces and adhered them onto that flap. I also have Santa already stamped and colored. He's from the Merry Everything stamp set. And now I'm just taking a stamp from that same set, the sentiment, you're always on my nice list. And I went ahead and stamped it on the stitch banner that comes in the Blueprints Dynamics die set as well. And what I did is I kind of positioned it on my block to be the same shape as that banner so that when I stamped it, it would follow the same path and just kind of give a really cool look and look like it was meant to be stamped on that banner die. So now that I have all the pieces stamped and cut, I'm just going to go ahead and assemble the card. So I adhered the snow pieces directly onto the flap with adhesive. I added Santa on with foam adhesive just to kind of give him a little bit of dimension. And then I added the stamped banner on as well. And for that one, I also used just regular um, tape runner so that it would stick directly onto the snow hills. Now I'm adding adhesive to the outside area of the panel. You want to make sure you only add it to the outside area so that the middle part will open and close on your card design. And you want to use an adhesive that's pretty strong because you want to make sure that that outside area stays stuck down onto the card. And now when you lift the flap, there's a perfect opening on the inside there to hold a gift card. And I like to just use um, my adhesive and just add it right into the center area and stick the gift card on top and it holds it perfectly. For the third gift card idea, I'm just going to use a pattern paper from the Birthday Blowout paper pad and we're going to do a few quick score lines. I'm going to do one at one and a half inches and one at four inches and then I'm going to turn this sideways and do a half inch score line along the bottom. And what I'm going to do on that score line is I'm going to trim off the two side pieces where the side flaps are and I'm going to do kind of a half triangle cut on the sides and leave the middle part completely intact. And that's just going to give us a little piece that we can fold up and adhere to to fully close this and turn it into a pocket. So I added some Be Creative tape to the two flat pieces and then I also added a piece to the bottom and now we have a perfect little pocket that sides perfectly for a gift card. Now since it is a little bit too tall I went ahead and cut some of it off and now I'm using a circle die from the Circle Stacks Dynamics and I just cut a half circle out of the top to give a little thumb groove to be able to pull the gift card out. I already have my stamped pieces from the Beast Friends stamp set stamped and die cut and colored and I'm just going to go ahead and adhere everything onto this little pocket to create a fun little holiday scene. I have the Yeti with some presents and a Santa hat and I also have the sentiment stamped onto a banner and I put that on the bottom and you can see the gift card perfectly slides into this fun little pocket. So there you have three different ideas for gift card packaging. We have this fun envelope that kind of tucks into the little groove that we created with some fun stamping. We have this great Santa full-size card that the flap opens to reveal a gift card and then we have this fun little pocket that the gift card slides into. So three great, easy, quick ways to create gift card packaging for your friends and family during the holidays. Now it wouldn't be a very crafty holiday without a very crafty giveaway so please leave a comment on this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and we will pick one random commenter to win a $50 gift card to the MFT online store. We will be doing this for every video this week so please make sure to come back tomorrow for more holiday fun. Thanks so much for watching.